listening to Superman on radio. We had the opportunity of uh, and watching him later on television. Always had the opportunity of writing in to, uh, for Superman's various programs or prizes they had at Grand Central Station in, in New York for whatever the event was. It was a, a pleasure to be able today to recognize the creators and some of the actors of that wonderful hero, Superman. So we're proud that the creators of Superman were from Los Angeles County. That was Jerry Siegel and Joseph Schuster. And we also have Jerry's widow here today, uh, who was also the original model for Lois Lane, and his daughter, Laurel Siegel Larson, who was also followed in the footsteps by becoming a TV news reporter. So from comic books to radio to television, Superman has been an American hero for generations. The Adventures of Superman on television starring George Reeves is one of television's earliest and most successful television series, now spanning five decades. The Adventures of Superman sparked the imagination of millions of children around the world, developed characters with integrity and a sense of compassion, all without shedding blood. It promoted understanding and tolerance among different people and championed truth, justice, and moral values. The Adventures of Superman inspired its young v viewers and earned the continued loyalty of the, their fans, of the fans, worldwide. So at this time, on behalf of the board, we are proclaiming the week of July 10th through the 16th as the Adventures of Superman Week in recognition of this milestone television series and the enjoyment it's brought to generations. Uh, we have who flew from Washington, uh, who flew from New York, uh, Paul Levitz of DC Comics, uh, for this presentation, along with uh, I mentioned uh, um, actors Jeff Corey and Robert Rockwell, who appeared in several of the episodes. Actors Jack Larson and Noel Neal, who portrayed Jimmy Olsen and Lois Lane, and we also have Michael Walbrecht, who is vice president of Warner Brothers Studios. And they are the uh, owners of the of the uh, of the rights for Superman. So they're all here today, along with Thurman uh, Backlear, who helped organize today's event. So first, we would like to uh, have Paul Levitz of uh, uh, DC Comics come up and uh, say a few words. Paul. Thank you very much, Mayor Antonovich. Growing up as a kid in Brooklyn, I guess my view of Metropolis was formed by the streets of Los Angeles because it was certainly formed by watching the show as it was filmed here and as it became really a terrific home for the wonderful creative talent as it did later on, a home for Jerry and Joe when they moved out here in their later years. Los Angeles has played a very important part in Superman's life from all of this and we're honored that the board has chosen to recognize the television show and the character and all these wonderful creative people in this way. Thank you very much. Thank you. Also, uh, Michael Walbrecht from Warner Brothers Studios. How are you? Thank you, Mayor Antonovich. Uh, on behalf of Warner Brothers, I just wanted to say thank you very much. This is obviously an enduring uh, character that has um, captured the minds and spirits uh, of most Americans. And it's amazing coming here today and seeing the people in the audience and some of the county workers come out and, and greet uh, Lois Lane and, um, and Jimmy Olsen and some of the actors still. So we appreciate it. Thank you very much. The, the one question is, whatever happened to all the suits that were left in those telephone booths? <laughs> Anyway, now we have uh, Noel Neal, who was the first Lois Lane in television. I had to wear this so you'd know who I was. Okay. We thank you so much for all being here. Wonderful meeting you and seeing you. And thank you for the honor. Okay. Thank you very much. Jack Larson, who portrayed Jimmy Olsen on the series. Well, it is an honor, and uh, we started shooting The Adventures of Superman 50 years ago today. And at that time, I was a kid, and I didn't know, I had no comprehension of what 50 years was. I do now. 
And, <laughs> and in those 50 years, our show has never gone off the air. Uh, the uh, National Comics DC uh, became Time Warner AOL during those years. They produced our show themselves, and uh, it was a great thrill to work with people that are no longer here, uh, George Reeves, who played Superman, Bob Shane, who was our Inspector Henderson, uh, the wonderful John Hamilton, who was my Perry White, editor of the planet, and uh, uh, to represent the show that uh, brought forth truth, justice, and the American way. It's an honor to be here. Thank you. Thank you. Joanne Siegel, the, the widow of the co-creator of Superman. Well, this is a wonderful event and uh, very surprising and very nice. And I want to say that um, in our group, there are people who've come a long way for this event. Uh, one came from Pennsylvania, one from New York, and there's someone here from Australia. And I think that's quite remarkable and quite an honor to all of the people who've been on the show for this special occasion, and also to my husband, uh, Jerry Siegel, and his partner, uh, Joe Schuster. Uh, while they're not here with us, uh, they're here with us in spirit. And um, I'm very happy that uh, everybody is, um, is here to enjoy this. Uh, Jeff Corey and Robert Rockwell who starred in many of the programs? If brevity be the soul of wit, I will be brief. Uh, I first met George at the Lux Radio Theater. We did uh, Lydia, where about eight various men in eight segments tried to woo her, and uh, I think George won. He was such an affable man, and it was great to meet him years later at, when I did uh, Luke, that bad guy who, uh, who underestimated the power of Superman. Thank you. I'm a, somewhat of a Johnny-come-lately to uh, Superman because it was about, seems to me, a year and a half or two years into the series when Warner Brothers must have decided that uh, they needed to tell the people where this man came from. So uh, they shot the first episode, uh, then they shot, I don't know how many, then they came back and shot the episode I was in where we sent Superman down to Earth. Krypton, the planet Krypton was breaking apart and my wife and I had to get rid of our son. We wanted him in a, in a better uh, area and so forth. So we shot him, I guess, in a cannon or something down to Earth. <laughs> and I guess the next episode, you probably saw something falling in a hay field or something in Kansas. That's right. So that's about all I had to do. Thank you. <laughs> And uh, Laura, would you like to say something? The daughter of the co-creator of Superman. I just, I just want to thank uh, all the fans who have kept the character alive and in their hearts for so many years. Um, my mother, who was the original model for Lois Lane, um, met Noel Neal for the first time today, <laughs> which is very interesting. Um, but Superman has, you know, obviously been a part of my life from the day that I was born. And um, time after time, I meet people who tell me the same thing, that they grew up either reading the comic books, um, reading stories that my father had written, or uh, watching it on television, watching the movies. And uh, it's, it's a very dear uh, American tradition that we have. and. Um, I'm proud that all of us on stage can be a part of it, and I'm glad that, um, that everyone's going to be able to celebrate it this week. Thank you so much for this honor. Jim Nolte, who's representing the uh, fans of Superman. We have much to be thankful for today. First, I want to thank the Los Angeles County Board of Supervisors, especially Supervisor Michael Antonovich, for providing this opportunity for us to publicly pay tribute to the adventures of Superman and to all of those involved in its history and production on this, its 50th anniversary. 
In these past five decades, many words have been written and spoken regarding the sets, special effects, and other technical facets that are woven into the fabric of this early and special television series. To its fans, they're all top-notch, for if not, we wouldn't, in fact, be assembled here today. But my remarks will not center around the technical aspects of the show. While they're important indeed, we didn't travel from across the country and halfway around the world to pay tribute to nails and wood, paper mache walls, or superimposed film. We're here to honor something much more valuable, the people behind those special effects, and the writers, the producers, the directors, the entire crew. We're here to honor people, the people who gave their time and wonderful talent, always in support of each other, to produce a show worthy of this tribute. And we're also here to say special thank you to Jerry Siegel and Joe Schuster, the two young men to whom we're indebted for creating the Superman character. I feel today like I've come to the end of a long journey. Like so many others, I first watched The Adventures of Superman when I was a child. But the images, dialogue, music, and the faces of these wonderful people involved stayed with me through my adult years. Why? Because what they did was good. It was good, and it had meaning to me and many others. I'd like to read a note I received from a reader of my website just before I left for Los Angeles on Sunday. Helen Kielkoff of Louisville, Kentucky wrote, how I wish I could be with you for Superman week and to shake the hands of those who gave so much joy in our youth. There could not have been a better cast. Not only do we feel we had the best friend in George Reeves whose loss we still feel, but our outlook on life was positively influenced by John Hamilton's kindly bluster, Jack Larson's earnest enthusiasm, Noel Neal's determination, and the good and dutiful Robert Shane. And we continue to recognize a long list of dear guest stars who gave remarkable performances. Two of them, Jeff Corey and Robert Rockwell, will stand beside you on Tuesday. When times are rough, I sometimes take out an episode to be cheered by such good company. They remain alive with us, always in our hearts, always in our lives. Very often we question the value of our existence. Have we done anything to make the world a better place? For a lucky few, there are special moments when they know they've accomplished great deeds. For most of us, however, although we accomplish much, our deeds, large and small, go uncelebrated, sometimes even unnoticed. Most likely, when the people involved in Superman went about their daily business, they thought of it just as a job. As Jack so often says, they told him, no one will probably ever see this. I'm here to tell you now, Jack, and everyone else, especially George Reeves, that what you did those many years ago was indeed seen, it was noticed, it is remembered, and it's valued. And so today, July 10th, 2001, on behalf of the fans of the Adventures of Superman from around the world, I salute you now. Thank you for your generous contribution to our lives. Thank you all. who know where to stand the flip. There's a lot of dissimilarity yeah. between politics and show business. I've noticed in the last 50 yeah. years. <laughs>
Did she know who you, that you, the daughter of the No, I used to be fine. You know, just uh, like she yeah. had that yeah. identity, <laughs> I did too. Because I didn't want her to work there. In fact, I looked like her. Two. Okay. Oh, okay. So let's see. That's striking. Yeah. 